me straight out to CNN correspondent Brian Todd. Brian, there was a lot of speculation last night, but now I'm learning he actually gets in with a valid ID, his ID. That's right, Nancy. He got in with a valid ID. He had legitimate access to the Navy Yard, according to the FBI. Uh, what we've been told is uh, this is from attorneys who help uh, thousands of people get security clearances in this area. These two attorneys have told us that the process is as follows. A private firm does the background checks for some civilian contractors. That's on behalf of the Office of Personnel Management from the U.S. government. That firm reports their findings to that government agency, which then gives the findings to the Department of Defense. And one of those three layers is supposed to pick up things like uh, three arrests and eight sightings for misconduct in the Navy. And apparently no one did, Nancy. You know, it, it, Brian, it's not just that. You're correct, of course, Brian Todd. But in addition, the government hospital, the VA hospital, had treated him and said he showed signs of schizophrenia. There was one incident where he calls police claiming that three people are after him and he's hearing voices out of his closet and he has you know brian todd i worked in the courthouse for over a decade all right every time i came in and showed my badge they gave me the look they look me in the face they look at the badge they look at you up and down i had to go through the metal detector every day and put my pocketbook through the metal detector every single day even my trial prep materials through the metal detector and i was glad of it how did this guy who's hearing voices in his bedroom closet get in that building well nancy uh, you know aside from the issue that he had a valid id on some of these bases if you show that id and you're driving in in your vehicle you don't necessarily have to uh, have your vehicle checked uh, they used to have stickers for all these bases going in with a special sticker that you'd have to flash or you didn't get in. But th that's apparently started to go away now, and you can show a valid ID, and sometimes they don't check your ID. I've been on a lot of bases, uh, especially in this uh, area of D.C. Uh, my wife is a government employee. When I'm by myself and I show my own driver's license, uh, they do check my vehicle and they check everything. When I'm with my wife and she shows her government ID, we don't have a problem. We go right through. So that's a process that I'm sure is going to be reviewed. And the Defense Secretary, Chuck Hagel, has said he is going to order a system-wide review of this entire process. The physical security and the clearance issues at every de Defense Department installation around the world.